So, here we are. Um, it is the day after Wrestle well not actually the day after WrestleMania in real life I'm recording this, but in game it's the day after WrestleMania. Um it's actually a Tuesday. I'm recording this, you know, after WrestleMania. But yes, two nights of WrestleMania forty now in the books, which brought an end to season eight of the TB Twenty Twenty Challenge Run. Uh yeah, we've had a lot of wild things happen this season. A lot of wild stuff I've got said for next season as well. But yeah. You know, this is the annual State of the Universe slash goal setting episode that we do. I know I did a whole series recap for episode 500, but this is different. This is like the inner machinations of the game rather than just going over the, the season. You know, this is like actually like an actual roster breakdown. So, you know, I'm not going to go over the same shit. But yeah, WrestleMania in the books. Um, night 1 was better than Night 2, which actually contrasts real life because real life this year I thought Night 2 was better. But yes, there is the show of history. Night 1 headlined by Cody Rhodes defeating Gunther to retain the the WWE Championship. And Night 2 being headlined by Bailey winning the second ever Four Horse Women Fatal 4-Way to retain the WWE Women's Championship. In the main event, a lot of title changes, a lot of things set up going forward. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of spanners thrown into my plans on these goals. Because I know for a fact I have to take a spin for one thing. And I can see some other things on here that I haven't done. So, yeah. But, let's take a look at um, the, the, state of the current state of the universe, starting with, you know, the champions, as we always do, coming out of WrestleMania. The ECW Women's Championship is now in the possession of Florence. She defeated Julia at WrestleMania. Um, yeah, she won the Royal Rumble. Cashed it in. I wanted at least one Rumble winner to choose an ECW title, because I thought that would be cool. So yeah, yeah, that's what you know. We had the story plan with Florence and Julia in November. She ended up picking her, and yeah, became the second ever ECW Women's Champion. Uh, the ECW World Champion is main event Jay Uso. You know he defeated the Tribal Chief and his cousin, not his cousin, his brother Jimmy, in <laughs> uh, the ECW main event for Night Two. And yeah, Jay Uso now reigns atop the ECW brand. Um, the ECW Tag Team Championship still, much to the chagrin of a lot of commenta commenters, still on Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander Heart and Soul, not on German. But you know, I'm sure German will get his get his win at some point. And then the ECW Television Championship, now in position of the God, Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, that's ECW done. Uh, Royal Rumble, I can retire that. And the women's rumble, I can retire that as well. Um, the World Heavyweight Championship still in the possession of Swerve Scott. You know he won that back in the Elimination Chamber, defeated Ilya Dragunov in a banger at WrestleMania in a 98 rated match. You know a match I went back and forth on, but in the end, you know I was co more confident in Swerve's creative coming out of WrestleMania. So you know Ilya will be fine. Um, the WWE Champion is the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Um, yeah. He's defeated Gunter to retain the championship. He's a two-time champion in this world. Him and Drew McIntyre are the only two champions since last year's WrestleMania. Let's see how long Cody Rhodes can hold that for. You know, I do have... I think this belt's entire trajectory, like the ECW and World Heavyweight Championship, I've left myself with a lot of wiggle room for, you know, to vary based on goals. But the WWE title, I think I've got locked in from now until next year's WrestleMania, so... You know, I know, but who knows? Maybe, maybe that all gets changed. Um, 24-7 title um, was set on Elton Prince for a while. Um, I just took it off him. Uh, I will probably do more shit funny things with that, because I've got a lot of goals that um, I have listed here that involve the 24-7 title that I haven't done yet. So, yeah. Cruiserweight Championship is on Axiom. He ended the reign of terror of Sensei. You know, Sensei's descent into madness in the My Wrestling Academia world led to that. And now, yeah, Sensei and Saray, you know, seem to be taking a big hit coming out of WrestleMania based on the, the pendant and all that shit. So who knows what their future holds. But the Cruiserweight Trio Championship still on Rouge, Jorge, and Santos. Um, I know I did get a comment that was like, oh, you know, you should have had Dragon's Dojo win 
And trust me, that was definitely a consideration. It was definitely a thing. I was like, yeah, Dragon's Dojo should probably win this match. But the Intercontinental Champion is Dominic Mysterio. So, you know, Dom and his three paid-for best friends now all hold championship gold. Dirty Dom snuck up in that ladder match. He pulled the championship down when everyone else was taken out. And Dirty Dom now reigns as the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, the Raw Tag Team Champion still the partners in prime. Logan Paul and KSI defeated R-Truth and John Cena to retain those championships at WrestleMania. And who knows how long their reign will last for. Uh, the SmackDown Tag Champions are Daniel Bryan and Pete Dunne. Finally dethroning Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania. And yeah, they're, they're going to be a very dangerous tag team on SmackDown. I know they're going to like do what Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were doing, but maybe even slightly better in terms of like carrying bangers out of every single team. Plus they can wrestle Chase U, because Chase U are baby faces. Uh, the US Champion, we have a new US Champion, his name is Neville the Bastard, returned as part of the US Championship Tournament, won it all, and is now the United States Champion. Yeah, you know, we brought him, brought him in here. He flew up. He was well known when he won it. I don't know if he's a star yet, but that popularity looks like star level. But he, I promise you, he was a well known when he won the belt. Uh, women's champion Bailey won in the main event of WrestleMania. Night two from Becky Lynch. You no know, Charlotte, Sasha, Rhea, Becky, and now all the horsewomen can disperse Raw. You know, be spread out across SmackDown and ECW as well. But Bailey is the one who reigns as the champion. Uh, Liberty champion is Rhea Ripley, which I know I have to spin for because she's a major star and she won a mid card title. But that's because of my own incompetence. Because I forgot Jade Cargill was going away to film. Um, you actually see there. Oh, she actually doesn't go for two. So I actually was a bit premature on that. But WrestleMania felt like the place to... Yeah, to, to do it. But yeah. And then um, the Women's Tag Team Champions are now Asuka and Tommy Hayashishita ending the reign of Piper Niven and Tegan Knox after just six weeks. But again, don't worry about Tegan and Piper. Trust, you know... Their queendom, queendom babies are safe in my hands. So it's fine. And then finally, speaking of, the Women's World Champion Dakota Kai uh, won it in what should have been the main event of WrestleMania, but democracy overruled me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this belt, um, again, you know, a, a lot of this can change based on the goal sets and like injuries and like other stuff in the in-game world. But, uh, yeah. So I was going to say, don't worry about anything, you know. Queendom Law is far from finished. I've got this belt trajectory mapped out through, like, next year's Summer... 20, 2025 SummerSlam. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, that's... Queendom Law's only just getting started. If you thought that Dakota Kai ended the Queendom Law section of SmackDown's Women's Division at WrestleMania, you're sadly mistaken, which apparently a lot of you won't not be happy about because apparently you didn't want to vote for the main event of WrestleMania, but oh well. Well, I'm not salty. Maybe you all just voted with um no context because you saw the four horsemen match. I'm like, oh, that looks like that should be the main event. Anyway, um, yeah. Guess now it's time to go over the roster. Um, our roster is stacked. We've got to go through um, starting off with any in ring. Braum, major stars. So yeah, these are our major stars. Um, Adam Cole, Bebe, victorious at WrestleMania. Dolph Ziggler forced to join the Paragon because of his victory. Could be a big season nine. Right? Adam Cole is someone who's been in my major stars for like two years and I've not really done anything with. But season nine should probably be a big year for him. I do have some stuff planned for him. Uh, Becky, again, just going to float about, you know, be the gatekeeper, be the top star in the division. Uh, she lost the belt, but she is still around. Unless she, of course, goes off the film again, or gets pregnant again, because this game has to take me away, take her away from me. I don't think there's been a full season where I've had Becky. Um, no, that's a lie. She was around for the entirety of season four, the one where she came back from pretty the first half to Mania 38, yeah. From SummerSlam to WrestleMania. Yeah, she was around that time. But yeah, rather than that, she gets taken away and brought back to me a bunch. Charlotte, also still a major star, apparently. Again, she's Charlotte, she'll, she'll be fine. 
Drew McIntyre beat Xavier Woods at WrestleMania, broke his heart. But yeah, he remains, I guess, the top, well, one of the top two heels on Raw. Apparently the top, because I don't see Gunther's name, or Cody's for that matter, but, <laughs> oh well. Uh, LA Knight, yeah, the top baby face on SmackDown. Him or, it's him or really, yeah. Um, he defeated The Rock at WrestleMania, thanks to an influence by Stone Cold. And yeah, he, yeah, even. Yeah, big, big season for him. He's an established top tier guy now, so he's fine. Uh, Logan Paul, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, is a major star. Yeah, he's Logan Paul. <laughs> Rhea Ripley, Liberty Champion, uh, has now got Tam Paxley by her side because Tam Paxley, I guess, fell in love with her after she got choked out. Uh, mood. And, uh, yeah. I've got to take a spin for her winning the belt. I'm not going to let myself forget it. Uh, Roman Reigns, top star still. No longer the ECW champion, that's now on Jey Uso, but we'll see what his career was like in Season 9. Sasha Banks, same as the other two horsewomen. Uh, Seth Rollins, of course, because look at who it is. It's Seth Rollins, of course, do not worry. His year, his year-long arc is already mapped out. Um, <laughs> and Warden, who has just come back um, from his TV show he was filming on Friday. I was going to have him debut or, or return even in the Battle and have him win it. Decided, nah, just, just keep it with Bronson Steiner. So, you know, maybe a little bit of a spoiler, but maybe he might pop up on one of the shows after WrestleMania. Specifically the brand that he's assigned to. <laughs> um, yeah, stars. This is where a lot of the losers of WrestleMania are currently sat. Uh, AJ Lee didn't really do much of note in the last season. But who knows, with her husband back now, she maybe may find a renewed push in Season 9. AJ Styles is now a star. He was well known for a long time. Uh, he got a win at WrestleMania actually, but he seemingly has a um, built-in <laughs> a feud coming out of WrestleMania, which we'll get to that person when we get to him. Alistair Black, the person who was defeated by AJ Styles and Finn Balor and the other man. Uh, yeah, he's he's another one who's been a star and sort of lingering around, and he's not really done much in a few years since he pursued it with Bray Wyatt. But, you know, he's finding his form now. I'm really starting to get into the groove of booking House of Black, so, yeah. Andrade, another one. Not really done much of note. Him and Garza are a fun team. Um, I'm thinking of drafting them to have a Royal Smackdown in the draft so they can get more TV time. But, yeah, he's still up here. Asuka, star, women's tag team champion. Again, queendom, so you know she's safe. Baron Corbin, somehow a star. He still has Jeff Jarrett on his... Which is actually not true because he's not in Planet Jarrett anymore. But yeah, uh, Corbin, he's just a gatekeeper, really. Um, maybe he'll get like a feud or two, but he's his his role is to maybe get a win or two and then put over somebody climbing up the card. Um, towards the back end of the season, he was like my only floating singles heel on Raw, so he just ate a lot of beat, a lot of defeats. Um, if we take his matches, yeah, oh, I'm free. <laughs> Um, Bailey, women's champion. Yeah, she's gonna be the the face of Raw, I guess, for the next season. Bianca Belair dropped down to star. Uh, I think her popularity took a big hit because Candice made a tap, but that feud's now over, so she can go on and doing something else now. Uh, Biggie, he's a star. Um, him and Kofi sort of started just being a background player to Xavier Woods towards the back end of last season, but um, I am gonna put Kofi and E back in the forefront a little bit more. Because, you know, as far as I, I, I don't want to go like, oh, you know, they, they would, because they would. If, if, if Woods was getting the singles push, they'd happily sit back and watch their boy. But, you know, I, I, I could do more with them while I'm, do, while I'm also still pushing Woods at the same time. Lashley. Oh, he's, uh, uh, he's always right on the cusp of breaking into the top, top, top portion. But he no, never got there recently. Maybe season nine will be better for Bobby, but... He did get a win over Damian Priest at WrestleMania. But yeah, Bobby, you know, he can never seem to break through. Bronson Steiner. Um, basically in the same situation as Lashley, where like he doesn't he hasn't really broken through yet, but he is younger. He is obviously someone who I look at as a future world champion. And, you know, the Battle Royal, he was dominant in the Battle Royal, so maybe season nine is the year that Bronson Steiner takes over. Candice. My steady hand. My my queen. Got a win over Bianca Belair. Finally got her out of her hair. Candice, you know, 
may not look like it because she's not on the Patreon because he's not in the group because she's a, an op of the group, but is very linked to the Queendom Law section of the, of the show. So she's also somebody who's fine. Um, Chad Gable recently became a ripped middleweight in the game, which took his star quality up from 75 to 84. And that cap had, would always annoy me. But now he's got 84 star quality. His cap's increased. He's now a star. So this is definitely something to watch out for in the next season. Uh, Christian is probably going to continue being Christian. I know the ending of his match at WrestleMania may seem like a baby face turn, but if anyone can get away with still being a dickhead after that, it's Christian. So we'll have to see. Cody, apparently only a star, not a major star. Um, why his popularity capped at 88? I guess that's just where he's capped. But yeah, he's Cody. Top guy on Raw, WWE Champion. Dakota, again, women's champion, top girl, currently on SmackDown, Queendom related. She, she'll be fine. Daniel Bryan, tag team champion. Dijak, former Incarnate champion. Yeah, Christian's right hand of justice. I'm sure he'll be fine in the next season. Dolph Ziggler already has an interesting arc waiting for him as he's been forced to join the Paragon. So we'll see where that leads. Dudley is apparently a star. Dudley is somebody that I regret putting on ECW. Because he's Dudley, like he he's a goat of this save because he's called Dudley Davis, and like he just, he just sort of like just fell off a cliff towards the back end of our season, but you know Dud Dudley is on his way back up and he's gonna take over season nine. Edge is retired. I may as well untick him. Uh, yeah, he retired at WrestleMania. He had his last match. Why did I just do that? Um. Oh, any in ring roll star. Uh, Florence, ECW Women's Champion. Yeah, she's going to carry that division going forward. Julia, former ECW Women's Champion. Um, who knows where she may end up after the draft, but if she has an ECW, that's obviously the natural rivalry. Gunther, um lost at WrestleMania in the main event, but don't worry about him. You know, he's always going to be right there. On the He's one of my basically my established top-tier guys. There are very few people I think I've got that are established top guys in my world that aren't quite there. He, I mean, Gunther will get there in real life, but he's not there yet. So, but, like, he is on my game, so, like, I look at him as, like, a t same with LA Knight. He does have the exact same situation. Like, these are top tier. I've got other former world champions, you know, like Montez Ford and guys like that that are kind of there, but also maybe a little bit lower, but Gunther and LA Knight specifically are two that are they're definitely at the top of my card like whatever they do will be important Gunther feuding with a mid carder will be seen as him elevating the mid carder and not you know him dropping down to the mid card for example the same way like if Seth Rollins was to do it Io tragically only a star she fell from major after the girl one but I'm sure she'll get back up there in no time because of course I've got her entire year mapped out Jade is a star which is going to be annoying when she comes back and has to try and feud with the Liberty title and um, can't because she's a a star. But, you know, she's got to go away for a bit because she's doing this acting gig. And then when she comes back, don't worry. I know, I know she was beaten in short order at WrestleMania, but I felt like that was the best way to, like, funny enough, to protect her rather than having her just get beat clean. Like, she now has a, a reason to come back and get a rematch for the actual match between her and Rhea Ripley. Uh, Jay Uso is now a star. You know, let's hear what the Yeet Man can do as the face of the division. John Cena, apparently only a star. Lost to our truth at WrestleMania. Well, no, teed with our truth and lost to Logan Paul at KSI at WrestleMania. Kevin Owens dropped his tag team titles. Um, I know roughly where he's going. I don't know his exact path, but I, I know what's happening with him soon. Montez Ford, length of Bianca Belair, they'll, they'll be fine. You know, they're an easy gimmick to book. Mustafa Ali is a star. Okay. Easy W Tag Team Champion. Uh, Grand Slam Champion, actually. Pete Dunne, SmackDown Tag Champion. Randy Orton. He's he's Randy Orton. Yeah. Ronnie Hughes is an 85 pop. Nice. I didn't realize he was that high. But, yeah, he's in the Hurt Business. Who knows what his future holds. Shinsuke, another one who's always up here that hasn't really done much. He's part of Itchy Ban right now, and I think he is declining, so. A Swerve, whatever champion, the GOAT, one of the GOATs of SmackDown. 
SmackDown's core on both the men's and women's side is really good. I like it. I like it, but tragically, I will probably have to break it up in the draft. The Rock, <laughs> the final boss himself, is around, but probably not anymore for a bit. So yeah, uh, Utami, women's tag team champion, Queendom, you know, fine. And then Xavier Woods, who lost tragically at WrestleMania to Drew McIntyre to try and prove that he could hang on top of the card, but um, his future is in my hands. And you know, he'll be right. Let's just let's just say that he'll be all right. Moving on to the well knowns. Uh, Tazawa, I wish I had him, but he's still out with a brain tumor for a bit longer, and not much, not too much longer. Is it? He will reappear at some point in the next season. Alba Fire. You know, well known. Like I'm not confusing. I'm just gonna bullet through these. You know, stop if there's anybody super important you want to look at. But yeah, you know, CM Punk is down here apparently, just by having this popularity. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm just not going to bother going over all of these. You can see all the names here. And then you've got Recognizable, which is these people. And then Unimportance, which are them. Those guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now let's take a look over. We've got our stables page. Um, AJ's Web, her, Amory and Kelsey. Yeah, they, they exist. AJ's goons, basically. Chase you won back the university over the D'Angelo family at WrestleMania. That land is now once again theirs, and they're back on Chase you doing Chase you things. Uh, the the D'Angelo family speak of the devils. You know, have to try and find someone else to pick on after failing to gain Chase you land. Death from above coming off. You know, pistol over U.S. title reign. We'll see where they go. Dragon's Dojo, new SmackDown tag team champions. But I'm sure Brian won't be happy that. Gulak, Dante, Rios, and Oni Lorcan were unsuccessful in becoming the trio of champions. EST, um, yeah, it's Bianca and Montez Ford with their goons, their, their pawns, basically. Hit Row, not long for this world, I'm going to be completely upfront with it, because <laughs> I actually want to do stuff with Ashanti Adonis, so. Uh, House of Black, trio right now, I don't know if I'm going to add anyone else, or if I'm just going to keep them like that. Ichiban, uh, they had recently added Yoko to the ranks, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Wink, wink. Um, Imperium, that they are who you think they'd be. JFlow, same as they've been every single other time I've done this. Uh, French Connection, they're still kind of French, but not really, because, you know, they're just, they're just not French anymore. You know, they sort of dropped the French, super French stuff. And I can also actually uh, make David Martin the leader now. Because when he originally debuted, he was like Max Dupree, basically, but French. But now he actually wrestled, so yeah. LA Extreme, like I said, all champions, well, apart from Beatrice, but yeah. Um, XML models haven't really been a thing recently because Pretty Deadly been lingering around um, Logan Paul and KSI, but yeah, there they are. Mogul Affiliates, Swerve and his two heavies, Bronco and Lucian, World Heavyweight Champion, yeah. Uh, my wrestling academia will never be the same again. Yeah, basically. Next gen haven't been around for so long, but you know maybe I'll start heating them up again at the start of next season because you know I called them off because I've said I think I said this in the big year long video or series long recap video. Um, I am always fifty fifty on whether or not to go all in on the regen characters because I don't know if people like will moan at me for, like, pushing OCs or whatever. I'd like, I would never, like, really push them to the top, 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 unless someone asked for that. But, like, using the OCs, I always feel a bit weird doing it. Because I don't know if, like, if people will tune out going, oh, I want to see the actual wrestlers. So it's, it's just a thing I've always been weird about. And, yeah, Paragon actually added two members. They added Dolph Ziggler against his own will, but also Cesaro to the group. So that group's now looking even stronger heading into next year. Path of the Dragon, 
um, absent because of Tazawa being away. Um, I think Humberto also has like a um, oh, an injury he can work through that was that started out like a year long. But I just sort of like at a certain point took him off TV and like had him quote unquote recover. Uh, Planet Jarrett, um, yeah, just they just love money. Queendom, <laughs> they are a red hot act. Yeah, they they sure as shit are. And he says they're important, but they are they are a pivotal backbone of the of the division. Um, I'm sure when I do the slammies, which will be after this, <laughs> they'll probably win faction of the year. Actually, maybe not because you didn't vote for them to be main event at WrestleMania, so clearly you hate Queen them. Um, anyway, Tekkers, you no, know, Zack Saber Jr. and the GYV, just a nice little trio on ECW. Bloodline, that's the current state of it. Um, Grand Jury, that that trio, Damian Priest and the King of Nelson and Frost. Uh, Hurt Business is currently MVP. Lashley, Damon Kemp, and Ronnie Hughes. Uh, this new breed, we saw them pop up on ECW. We'll have to find out more about what that's all about on um, ECW. New Day, who else would it be? Revolution um, have been away for a while because Buster like took a fucking like super super D. He must be in like the Avengers or some shit because he was he's still away for another two months, six, two weeks. He's been gone since like November. It started. It was a six month duration. And, like, it was really annoying, so I was just starting to use the Revolution as, like, a babyface trio. And now he's gone. And now, sort of, Nebo and Rufus have, sort of, taken a backseat. Because their mouthpiece isn't around. Royal Dynasty, Charlotte and her goons, and then Titus World Records. Now, let's get on to other promotions, because I actually haven't looked at this in a while. But let's look at, um, well, NXT first. Here is the current state of the NXT division. Ari Sterling is the NXT champion. Um, Evan Bourne is the North American champion. Uh, Jason Swade and Liam Gray are the tag team champions. Raquel is the women's champion. And Carmen Petrovich and Annette Sell are the women's tag team champions. Uh, yeah. NXT Japan. Them Huang Liang, who is Jason Lee, is the number one contender, which is their mid car belt. Their heavyweight champion is Shu. Takuyuchi, who is Daichi Hashimoto. Uh, their tag champions are Naruhito Matsushita, which is Kota Sekafuda, and Rakuru Kobayashi, who is Yuki Ueno. And then the Wonder Woman champion is Natsuki Sugita, who is Sayori Eno. Yeah, they've had a lot of those champions. And then we've got NXT UK still. Um... All, all regens, apart from Raven Creed, who was here because I signed her for the uh, May Young Classic. She's been on a handshake deal. So I haven't just released her, so she's still just in NXT UK chilling, I guess, as the champion. And you've got AAA, which is also technically a developmental company of mine. Um, Mamba is the Latin American champion. Uh, La Mascara is the mega champion, which is their world champion. Uh, there's no Reina de Reina champion that hasn't been since I took over the company. Because Sexy Star was the champion when I took over and I immediately fired her. Uh, World Group champion is Ray Horace. The mini champion is Drastic Boy. Uh, Ms. 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 Tezis Jr. and Pagano are the mixed tag team. Wait. Mixed tag team champions are. Oh, I guess this game can't work out that it's got to be a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes that makes sense. Um, Mascara de Bronze and Aramis are the world tag team champions. The trio champions are Angelico Aramis and Mascara Bronze. Uh, that trophy's not been held, and the Raider Reyes was won by Doctor Wagner Junior. Um, AEW. Uh, their champion Jake Hager is their All Atlantic International Champion. Uh huh. Uh, TBS champion is Soraya. Uh-huh. TNT champion, Sean Spears. Uh-huh. Finally, <laughs> someone good. Yuka Sakazaki is the AW Women's Champion. She won it from Mia Yim, who held it for 11 months. Eh, nice. Uh, Darby Allen is the World Champion. Beat Penta for it. He held it for 205 days. 
The tag team champions are the Young Bucks, and the trio champions are Jake Hager and the Young Bucks. That team just said a slur. Um, Ring of Honor champions, pure champion is Joey Janela. Um, Britt Baker is the women's champion. Uh, Kenny King is the world champion. Josh Briggs, Matt Taylor, and Shane Taylor are the six-man champions. Jesus Christ. Uh, Vincent and Bateman are the tag team champions, and the television champion is Adam Brooks. Let's go TNA, TNA, TNA. Um, they've got no knockouts champion. They haven't since September. Why? Um, oh, that's right, I forgot. There is a um, Janetti... Uh, Bollywood boy in this world. Harv Sira is the TNA world champion. He was a double champion up until the 1st of January. But he did lose that to <laughs> to Johnny Bravo and Matthew St. Jocks. And then Pete Willie. Yeah, but Harv Sira is the... He's the star. Gerv, I think, is out with like a... Yeah, he's got a herniated spinal disc. So he's gone for 10 months. And But yeah, Harv, he's the star, Bollywood boy. If one of them was coming back to the Fed to tear it up... It's this one right here. Uh, New Japan. Who are their champions? Because they're kind of still good in this world. Uh, Hiromu was the last um, Super Juniors winner. Jay White won the G1. Ha ha. Uh, Will Ospreay, IWGP champion. Uh, Intercontinental Championship was vacant because you had 28 days notice. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. That, that sucks. That's on you, Ghetto. That's on you. Uh, Bushi is the junior champion. K KZI and Daisuke Harada are the, with the OWGP heavyweight tag team champions. Or junior heavyweight tag team champions even, because Finn Juice are the heavyweight tag team champions. James Radine is the United States champion. Uh, the openweight champion is Joseph Connors. And the six bands are Joseph Connors, Big R, Shimizu, and Mikey Nichols. I've noticed this with trio styles in this game. Like the, how the AI books them, because they're the Bucks and Jake Hager in um AEW. And then it's always somebody who's always already got a belt who then wins them with somebody else. It's weird. Anyway, New Japan Cup was won by Shingo. Uh Yosuke Santa Maria and Robbie Eagles won the Junior Tag League. World Tag League is won by Big R Shimizu and Mikey Nichols. Um SWG, let's have a look at these because these are the um I could they, I made this company and I went into the game and I went, ah uh, I want um, another me medium-sized company. They were previously only women. And I didn't notice, but they do now have men as well. Uh, their big gold belt is Tessa Blanchard. Their big gold tag belts are Alicia and Ravana Vane. They haven't got their international champion. Their men's tag team champions are um, Royce Isaacs and Idol Stevens. Uh, their top contender title, which is their women's secondary title, is held by Tenille Das, which he beat Tina Brooke for it. And then their men's world champion is Matt Riddle. Um, I don't think there's anything else really worth checking out. I actually want to see, like, CMLL. If you do, here are their champions. I don't know most of the CMLL guys. So, <laughs> um, Phoenix. Uh, this guy's always good in TW, but I don't think I've ever seen him wrestle in real life. Um, yeah, Mystico, Mystico again, Karistico, Titan, <laughs> yeah, unless they appeared on Dynamite or Collision, I've never seen the CMLL guys, uh, MLW, who are your champions looking like, Gringo Loco, Mance Warner, Tom Lawler, Kurt Stallion, and Kaliso. uh, Noah, who are your champions, anyone cool? Marafuji and Nakajima, right. I know fuck all about Noah, but I believe that's a powerful tag team. Um, yeah. Uh, where is... Let's look at Stardom's champion before we leave. Def Yamasan, Ryu Mizunami, and Momo are the trios. Future Asylum is Starlight Kid still considered the future at 24 because, you know, she's a Joshi and she's been wrestling for like eight years and it's only 24. Um, Manami and Akari are the Goddess Champions. Haven't held the Goddess Tag League. 
Five Stars won by Shiri. Cinderella was won by Konami. ACM is the high speed. Mayu is the SWA. Wonder is Eve Torres is the Wonder of Stardom champion. Hell yeah. You're goddamn fucking right it is. And um, Dash Chiyosako is the World of Stardom. Okay, Eve Torres popped me. Okay, on to the first part of why you're here. Because I know why you're actually here, and that's to set them. Which, you, to be honest, you've already done it. You've already left this video, so I don't know why I'm still rambling. Um, yeah, so here's our goals. Push, Shanky, 70 pop by 2024. I did get him there, but um, when he won the belt, he, that, that, that pushed him over. But his pops dropped again since, like, even, <laughs> like, at the start of the year. Wait, well, did I ever get him there, actually? Huh. Apparently not. Well, I came close, but that's apparently another strike I've got to take. Uh, Ronnie Hughes, I just saw he had 85 pop, so yeah, I got him to 80 pop. Uh, Rick Boogs, I don't have any more. Uh, Kushida, I haven't really pin, been pushing. But, you know, now the Cruiserweight Championship's back. I'll, I'll leave his name on there. He could be a big player in that division next season. Toxic Attraction. Um, Mandy Rose requested a release, and I granted it. But Gigi and JC are definitely a lot better off. So, I consider that a dub? Question mark. JC specifically, because, you know... She's better. Uh, Tam Singles Push... Uh, she's been getting some more s single spotlight, but you know she's not. She's not been like, oh, she's a single star now. But, like I do put her in a lot more single. Like compared to Mackie, she's like not that far off. She's closer to Mackie than she is to Mina. And if Mina's that high, she'll be the number three because the other two are fodder. Yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe more singles matches for her. Ken Cobain, Starbite. Fuck, I didn't get him a star by 2024 did i i think he may have been capped actually yeah so that one uh because he's next to right okay i'm gonna try and weasel my way out of him <laughs> um ken gabain was capped at 70 pop you can see here and that's not enough that's barely enough to get you well known so that was out of my control and then Buster Gates was on his way to becoming a might have actually become a star at some point but then I lost him for six months so again out of my if the game takes him from me what do you want me to do fuck it I'll take a spin for it I'm getting a lot of spins today okay holy shit mid card champion depends if we count cruiserweight as mid card if not no fuck it you don't I'm leaving it up there Unimportant person, less than 20 pop to 85 pop. I made 20, 24. Uh, who, would I, who would that be? Um, oh, let's check my popularity. Well, okay, they might not have 85 pop anymore, but they would have none of these look like they would have started that, unless Ronnie Hughes did. I don't think he did. Florence, kind of. Because she's... Well, that was years ago. Eh. But, eh, eh. Fuck it. Completely fucking myself over here. I didn't realise I failed so many of these popularity goals. Uh, Ricochet Shingles Push. Um, I'll work on it. He's been getting a little bit of one on Velocity recently. But... That's not that's not what you mean. Swerve Scott, uh, he's the world heavyweight champion. So yeah, fuck. He's he, Lashley world champion. Uh, leave him with me. Buddy Murphy, he's somebody I want to get back into in the next season. Um, all of like the the OG challenge run guys have sort of fallen off. Like Buddy Murphy, Only Lock, and all of them. I sort of want to get them all back, like into decent roles next season. So that should be fine. Savruka, so she's just debuted. She's getting around. She's getting around. She'll get there eventually. Odyssey Jones, he's still in NXT right now. He, he may pop up on one of the shows next season. Next big things. Who are my next big things? I guess Mackie. It's Mackie. Okay. 
<laughs> well, there you go. Might as well just cross that one off. Uh, but I'll keep it on there. Like, that should just be an eternal thing. Like, every time anyone gets on these big things, I'll just push them. Adam Cole, uh, yeah, stay with. Joe Hendry, again, stay with. Gun Club, stay with. Considering who just debuted. Um, and Luke Guzafino, yeah. I'll wait a little bit on him, but he will have a role, definitely, at some point. AI generated tag team, tag team champions. Did I do, have I done that yet? Um, let me check my teams. Oh, like championship history, even. And these weren't AI generated, no. Um, no. And no, so yeah, I'll leave that on there. Regen wrestler, champion by Anatoy 23. Uh, yeah, Ronnie Hughes was, um, ECW tag team champion. Uh, NXT wrestler with less than 50 star quality, three month mid card title run by Mania. Uh, yeah, Sensei star quality is in the p poopy poop. So, uh, yeah, I've definitely done that. Yeah, 26. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. Uh, no one star above can win a mid card unless a gold state, so I haven't done. Just broken a free year. Made a star 24 7 champion. The 24 7 title has been away for a little while, but I will bring it back. Xavier Woods, world champion. <laughs> Stay with. Uh, EO, male championship. I forgot that was a thing. I forgot you did that. Okay. Uh, Marty Time, 24 7 championship. Pharaoh. Okay, yes. Um, alphabetical 24 7 champions. If you'll notice, it was on Elton Prince because he'd won it from Dijak, who won it from me, who won it from Billy K, who won it from A Ladder. Um. Toss World Records, Tag Team Champions, they did that. Warden, champion by 2024, he was. R-Truth, non twenty seven championship win, yep. Celebrities, currently Tag Team Champions. Uh, I've done a non-human 24 7 champion, so yeah. And obviously I'm going to keep that up, because I, that's just a bit that I find funny. So, you know, no no stress there. Ali, he's been Tag Team Champion, he's Tag Team Champion right now. Uh, Ludwig, IC Champion. Haven't done that yet. Uh, a title gets hot potatoed. Define a hot... Well, no, I've, I remember asking this before. Like, would you consider, like... Is it specifically, like, no defences between them? Or, yeah, do let me know what, you, what the a literal definition of hot potato would be in your mind. Would it just be somebody... Would this, like, not really hot potato, would it, it played out over a matter of, like, six months? But from Cody to Drew to Cody in quick succession would... Just that one to one be counted as a hot potato, or has it got to be like more than one? But it's got to happen like four or five times for it to count. Um, yeah. Year long championship reign. <laughs> part there was a sick part of me that um was going to do that with you and have you retain at WrestleMania, but I just didn't have the balls. Um, yeah. Ranathal gets a redesign. Haven't done yet. May end up doing it eventually with the ECW belts. Um, I made to start unimportant tag team champions. I mean, no, KSI's not unimportant. I was going to say technically there, but no. Ah, uh, I could have done it with Brian and... No, but he's not a major star either. He's just a star. Okay. Fan debuts when star I haven't done yet. LA Knight World Champion. Yeah. Um, Wrestle competes Grand Slam. Yeah, Mustafa Ali is now a Grand Slam champion. Million Dollar Championship gifted to a woman. Haven't done that yet. Stay tuned. Um, 20 default defenses for a champion. I can't remember. There was somebody that was getting close. Might have been ZSJ. No, he only got to A. Okay, so maybe it's the god. Maybe the god is the one who will who will take us to, <laughs> to 20. Oh, Power of the Dragon got 16. So Yeah, maybe maybe it's the god's time to, to get us that. EO Double Champion. Again, she did that like twice. Release wrestler, resign a world champion. I've got a couple of names who I've brought back that could do that. I think Apollo Crews is in NXT. He came back because I um he was in AAA when I bought him out. Matt Cardona in that champion. Matt Cardona's always got an arc going on. He's somebody that I can do silly arcs with. So that's why he's back. Oh, uh, Regen world champion. I do have that. And I'm attacking champions angle. Um, There was scrapped Queendom lore that had this. I might as well go into this now actually because I did want to get to it. Um, like, it was the Cyber Sunday poll, so, like, you, you did have the vote, but apparently none of you were passionate enough about Dakota to get in the main event of WrestleMania, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, 
like voting for her emphatically like she didn't just win she emphatically got the votes in that cyber sunday poll against Dio was what made me want to change up the story and um make her the one who goes to wrestlemania to face Io. um i think it might have originally been you know yutami does it in standard you know underling wins their way to a wrestlemania match and faces Io at mania but i changed my mind did the whole i'm much happier how it went out how it played out in real life on the actual game not in real life the actual law of it was better but yeah and I just wanted to point out that it was that that poll that for Cyber Sunday did have ramifications beyond just Cyber Sunday. It did help change the course of the entire series. And the reason I bring it up here is because um, the original blow-off was going to be that Asuka and Dakota did this. And Asuka was going to run around with both the belts. And they were going to face Tegan and Piper for him at WrestleMania and win them off Tegan and Piper. Who would still be healed and greened them at that point. But yeah, that didn't end up happening. So I've got to you know, readjust. BGM World Champion. I didn't realize I had that goal, so maybe at, at least one of you wants to see it. Uh, women's Tag Team titles made that pay per view. Yeah, they did. They made it to the Chamber. Cena, Styles, or um, Voldemort to retire at WrestleMania. Oh, uh, I did Edge, if that counts, but he's not listed there. <laughs> so I passed down their gimmick. Still, st- it's been like a year. I still haven't thought of who I'm going to do that with. Change five randomized wrestlers finishes again. Cool, cool, let's get their silly W name change. I've done that enough, and now it's no longer a thing to where I'm going to consider it a success. Um, I still have Dudley Davis running around on my roster under that name. So, <laughs> I, I consider that alone and I have a success for that goal, because they're not doing it anymore. I still have Dudley Davis running around. I've still got fucking... Oh, these other stupid names running around. And yeah. Uh, differentiate everyone on SmackDown has kind of happened naturally like so, uh, there was a thing like towards the back end of the year or maybe start of the year where like Smackdown was the law show Raw was like just the, the, the show where just wacky shit happened or everything else happened and then um ECW was the wrestling show yeah uh, debut wrestle on a losing streak I don't think I've done that yet I haven't though Completely be banned, a top star, an established star, I haven't done that yet. Regen to defeat Roman Reigns by 2024. It's 2024 right now, and I definitely haven't done that. Or have I, actually? No. Okay, so I remember there was a a world where I booked Ronnie Hughes to beat him, but it's not this one. Okay. Well... This is why I say you'll leave fucking. If you'll leave a fucking buy on your challenge, I can't just palm it off and go, oh, I'll get to that eventually and have it sat there for six seasons. <laughs> uh, Sabre 20 members haven't got that yet. Glam Rock Faction, again, something that's always on the mind. Every single time I, I think it's something to do, I think, can they fit the Glam Rock Faction, but hasn't come to fruition just yet. G1 Star Tournament. Uh, the Queen of the Ring. No, Queen of the Ring. The Mae Young Classic. That was a G1. Like, an actual good G1 as well. Like, not, not a four-block G1. Uh, it was a two-block. Yeah, a two-block. That, that's, that's a G1. Like, yeah. Unless you specifically mean with main roster guys. And top stars. But, yeah. Star Hardcore Division, um, ECW, does exist, so that may come eventually. Uh, New The Way Faction, that is what um, EST is. Double turn. Uh, we'll always leave it on there, because it's always something I want to do. I can't remember off the top of my head if I did one yet. Sign Me, Nightmare Graduate, I will do. Assign Actor, Musician, and Rock. Shouldn't that should be a, a forfeit, not a a challenge. I'm gonna move it. Yeah. But don't worry, I've gotta take about a million of these anyway. Jesus Christ, I've just remember I've just see I just remember what some of these fucking things are. Ugh Man, I should probably yeah. Should probably stop failing goals. Get <laughs> based on a video game character. I haven't done that yet, but it's 
uh, maybe, maybe Manny and Dio need something new to do. Steeler Top Star from Rival Company. Uh, Pack is actually a former AEW World Champion, so I count that, definitely. Logan Paul Faction. He sure has been hanging around pretty deadly a lot recently, hasn't he? Uh, Cruiserweight Championship. Maybe it's a pay of you. Haven't done that yet. Big Guy Matt is a smaller wrestler. I mean, I've got a lot of those. Like, Omos manages Carmelo Hayes. Andy Agogo manages Chad Gable. You know, pick one. Um... Raven, new flock. Do I even have Raven? I think I had him at one point. Now he's the booker of TNA. Um, I can, I can get, I can bring him in. On a handshake, he can do some stuff on ECW. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like that can, that can happen. Um, wrestler sent to jail. I mean, I know you mean in storyline, but uh, um, I I mean, uh, <laughs> House of Black. Uh, yeah, we did those. Uh, owner of Mankind's Mask. Yeah. Um. ECW pay per view. Hmm. There's there's some interesting goals here that I forgot about. Two blood relatives here with the Mysterios haven't done that yet. Could be a bit difficult considering Dom and Ray have broken up. Uh, love triangle storyline. Haven't done that yet. Wrestling wedding also. Angel Garza's MILF storyline sort of just faded away because JoJo was a part of it and I felt weird having JoJo as a part of it. Because, you know, who done it? Again, another thing that we'll, I'll just always have on there because I guess technically the. Um, the notes thing was a who done it, but not really because there was really only one corporate. Look at it was it wasn't this whole thing, but yeah, uh, several wrestlers part of a kayfabe family haven't done that yet. Suing a court case, uh, we still have Luca Crispino up there, don't we? Yeah, us versus them. That's very generic. I mean, I know who left the guy. I know what he means. He means this. This was a rib on the outcast AEW storyline. <laughs> so I guess technically. I did that with the next gen. And I've done it. No, I'll, I'll keep it on there. Food ever burrito. Um, sure. Honorary use. Um, yeah, Bloodline sure does look weak on numbers right now, doesn't they? A food ever hat. I don't have JK yet, sadly. <laughs> Wrestler you lose is new. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, that means like someone debuts like John Smith loses. Then he rebrands himself on the next. Yeah, that, that's a funny idea. And I, I will probably get to if I have a job guy, but I want to use him in that spot. Uh, Christian Fuse of Wrestlers with Dead Fathers. He has indeed done that. But it's staying on there because, of course, it is a uh, fourth member of Imperium. Hasn't crossed my mind at all because I really don't like the idea. But if one of you has asked for it, then I guess. Brock Lesnar nearly around. Ugh. Eh, don't remind me. Eh, don't remind me. I'm, I'm, not taking a, I'm not taking a thingy for that because... You know, it, they'd be the tag team champions right as we speak, but but you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. Book of Mask versus Mask match. Um, sure. <laughs> Book a tag team match for two members turn their partner on the line. Interesting. Uh, cinematic match in a water park. Pitbull wrestles a match. Has he not? Have I not booked? Oh no, I'm thinking of UBW. Uh, no, yeah, I'm thinking of UBW. Um. Someone on a forklift match, haven't done yet. James Scramble, no. Death match, no. Fear Hill hasn't been a male wrestler yet. Colton, sorry. Uh, retired star has one more match. I mean, Devon Dudley. Cinematic match at Sharky Cheese. 40 person rumbles, did those. Uh, fight Pit. Could have done that with Shayna and um, Sonya, but doing it on Heat felt silly. Uh, cinematic match on a yacht. Okay, Taylor. <laughs> Booking all my X match haven't done yet. Feast or fired rewards randomized. Interesting, funny idea. Uh, May Young Classic, yeah, we did that. Did it be gut check? Wild card tag tournament haven't done. Randy, did we do Randy on Appreciation Night? Or have I imagined that? We did the Otis show, I know. Um, we haven't had another music episode, haven't had a sponsored episode yet. My wrestling academia, the uh, my, my wrestling academia, the movie. Basically, everything from Christmas onwards was considered a movie in my mind. I might combine it all together into a quote unquote movie. 
but yeah that's that was that whole thing was considered a movie um in fact, I something offered up. Purely in Vegas. We did that with Cyber Sunday. We did a stadium show in Ireland. Um, I can't remember if we did. Can someone remind me? Did I end up doing Radio on Appreciation? Or did I imagine that? I know we did the John Cena one. But I swear I remember Randy having one. No, I don't think we did. I, 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 I'm. That's a fucking massive Mandela effect on me. Right. So, four... Four of these. Oh, I'm so I'm so nervous. There is some fucking, there is some shit on here. I really, really don't want to do, but I'll. Oh, that's the UBW list. Ugh. Oh. Like you can see, like this whole thing is unedited, so, you, so I'm not gonna be able to cheat though. That could be worse. I can work with that. Um, oh, I got three more. Fuck. Three more. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, but for, for how long? How, uh, for how, whatever, fine. Vince Russo becomes GM of ECW. Happy? <laughs> that fucking girl. Assign actor musician roles to random top stars. Um, I'll do two of each for that, and I'll randomise who they are in, um, after this. All in all, I'm... I think I dodged a bullet there, but of course I'm now staring at this and part of me wants to play with fire and spin it again, because I'm a masochist. And there was also a rather, rather dodgy one that I definitely deleted, but if I click it, I've got to commit. Why did I spin? Why did I spin? Is that random champion? It doesn't say random. Like it says here, it says, oh fuck, this does say random championship. Ugh. Are you fucking kidding me? That does say random championship. This doesn't though. So this is any champion I pick. I can pick a champion here. Okay. But that says random. That that word right there. <sighs> Fuck. I no longer feel comfortable with that one.
So who are you hoping it's going to be, you guys? Who are you hoping is going to vacate their belt? Because that definitely says random championship and not just championship, which means it's not up to me. It's up to the fucking wheel. Ah, oh, poor Dom. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, he had such a good arc coming up as well. <sighs> How long was he out for? Oh, no, wait, that's the instant championship change one. <laughs> Never mind, I can work with that a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I get to pick which champion is out for three months. I guess. Okay, so Dom's losing his belt. I'm losing belt, ECW, GM, Vince Russo. Um, I'll do that in a sec. No, I'm missing this MVP to the top star. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. That doesn't sound like a challenge, but yeah. <laughs> champion up for three months, which is title. So that champion is going to be... I don't want to fucking do any of these. Ugh. All of these have such good... Either arcs coming up or moments I don't want to ruin, like, you know, Jay. <laughs> um. I really kind of want to just do Rhea because then, because vacating the Liberty Championship will actually help me so much. But I don't want to lose her for three months. Is the dilemma I have. Um, Cause then all of that was for nothing. Like uh, So I'll tell you who is not gonna be. It's not gonna be Dakota. It's not gonna be Asuka and Utami. It's not gonna be Rhea. It can't be Dominic. <laughs> um Picking the Cruiserweight Championship feels like a cop out. Um, it's not going to be Cody. <sighs> it might have to be Ali and Cedric, you know. <laughs> oh, because I just changed so many belts. Might have to be Ali and Cedric. I'm sorry to do it to you, but I then don't know who's out for three months. All I do it'll be Cedric Alexander because obviously I'm gonna pick. I mean, should I just go to the wheel? No, but then what if it lands on one of the fucking Queen Tom Girls? Um, but also, the wheel feels like the fairest way to do this. T 
take Dom out. Why did I spin again? There you go. Cruiserweight for your championship. Because I now have to decide who it is that's going down. Roosh. Of course, the best member. Sorry, boys. Whoever it was that commented and said, you know, Dragon's Dojo should have won, maybe you were right. But that also would have happened to them if they'd have actually won the belts. Because I'm a fool and failed too many challenges. But it's nice. It, 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 it makes me think on my feet, you know. It makes me force a change, which, which is why Loki went to the wheel. Because if I was going to pick the belt... I would go, well, it's not going to be the Queendom Girls because I've, I've got shit. But no, but then if the wheel picked it, then that would make me for that would force me a change. And I kind of do like that. All in all, it picked the most irrelevant titles in the, in the, in the company. So I can live with it. So, yeah. Rouge is gone for three months. And the, the Cruiserweight Trio Championships are now vacant. So now I have this to do. Oh, I need, I need to do the fucking musician roles right now, don't I? Yeah. Um, it says top star. So I'll do star and major star, basically. So that is Cole, Becky, Charlotte Drew. I don't know. Logan Paul should have it anyway, but I'll put him on there. Um, Rhea, Roman, Sasha, Seven, Warden. No, I didn't mean to roll you. 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 Ignore that. Ignore whoever that says. 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 AJ, AJ, Alistair, Andrade, Oscar. Corbin, Bailey, Bianca, Piggy. Lashley, Steiner, Candice, Gable. Cody, Dakota, Brian, Dijak. Ziggler, Dudley, Florence, Julia. Oh, that was Gunther. EO, Jade, J, Cena. Cena should have it already, so I'll lead him off. Kev, Tez, Ali, Don. Randy, Ronnie, Shinsuke, Swerve. Utami and Woods. Okay, so first person, or the first two people I guess are going to become actors um, I'll probably do major so then they will leave more more frequently rather than you know just you know occasional please take a ah oh, so fucking close to just being Corbin I was nearly got away with that but no, it's true. Okay. So, you made it a... Uh, workers. Drew Galloway. 
Um, so it was movie star, actor, and musician. It was actor and musician roles. Um, can I assign that? Oh no, it's in um. In here, isn't it? Um, it's an attribute. Sorry, misc. So we got movie star, TV star, famous musician, musician. So Drew is now a movie star. Jack is also a movie star. Good for him, you know. So then the next two are going to become musicians. What kind of band? Tell me what kind of band do you think this person's going to have? Jay Uso. I'm not going to put a famous musician because that's just very silly. Because that's for like Bad Bunny and shit like that. So he's just a musician. That's probably what Jericho has. So. Julia also has a band. Okay, so the musician sort of fucked me over more than the. Oh no, because Drew. Uh... But yes, there we go. So they're done. Um, that's done. Got to think of a non-wrestling related celebrity to feud with a top star. And is Vince fucking Russo in this database? No. Um, is he in any database that I own? Um... Ah, oh, of course he fucking is. Um, I'll appoint him from 2011. Because then he's definitely going to be... He's definitely going to be... There he is. Get a one-year deal. I'm not promising a long term. But, I mean, he's coming. He sure, he sure is. So Dominic's got to drop his belt on on Raw, which, not going to lie, there was part of me that was considering that anyway. So I actually kind of did get lucky there. I have got a guest celebrity to feud with a top star. And my trio of championships are vacant. Anyway, now's the more important part. Goals, setting. Leave them in the comments below, whatever you want me to do. Again, I say this every single time. I don't want to take um, goals for like, oh, so-and-so must win the Royal Rumble or must win the Money in the Bank because then it makes those matches predictable. So like, try and think outside the box. You've seen some other shit and now you've seen that, you know, I, I will end up taking on a lot of fucking challenge, a lot of um, punishments as well as I do leave the punishments. So yeah. Oh, what was the other one I had? There's some of these I'm so lucky I didn't get. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do do leave your challenges in the comments below. I'll say, again, I'll say I can't take them all because, you know, there's over nine hundred of you at this point. But I will try and take at least one from everybody. Is the ruling I do. So if you leave one, unless it's something that I really, really, really is gonna make me miserable, then I'll probably do it. And if you leave more than one, I, there's a chance I won't take all of them. Because again, this is about my enjoyment as well. And if I don't, if it's just gonna, it's just gonna piss me off more than it's gonna be fun. 
I'm just not going to do it. But yeah, you know, you're sitting there, you've got pushes, championship goals, miscellaneous goals like that, storylines, matches, you know, theme shows, all of it. Whatever you can think of. And then I'll see you next time for... Well, probably hear me next time for Raw, but there might be a Slammy's video before then. I'd love to do them on the community poll, but that only leaves four options for each, and that's silly, so I'll have to make another fucking um, thing in a bobby for it. But anyway, I'll see you next, whenever the next video is, I'll see you then.